Hey everybody, long time, how y'all been? Uh, check it out. I normally don't really give a rat's ass about this person because he's just a babbling buffoon. Uh, but Christy Noem, the Democrat, or no, excuse me, the uh, governor of, I think, South Dakota, is out claiming that cartels are overpowering the nine reservations uh, of her state. Now, I'm going to state for the record, I'm a Tejano, okay? I have indigenous blood, 57% indigenous, and um, the rest is European-based and American-based uh, genes, okay? But even if I wasn't that, I can honestly say we can all pretty much see the Sioux can handle themselves, okay? Standing Rock was the biggest giveaway. You know, there was a big um, uh, American oil and fuel industry company that tried plowing through Standing Rock Reservation and setting up their pipelines for gas and fuel from Alaska through Trans Canada all the way down to El Paso, Texas, or outside of El Paso. Um, and Standing Rock stood their ground and all this good stuff. You know, so the Sioux can handle themselves. They've, they've, they've been water cannoned in the middle of winter. They've been starved. They had attack dogs sent on them. Um, all this good stuff. So the Sioux can handle themselves. I'm, so uh, this, let's make this straight right here by the first two minutes. This is not to discredit them. I'm not going to say the poor, poor Indians or anything like that. No, screw that. They know what they're doing. They can hold their own, okay? So to think that cartels infiltrate them is just downright stupid. That they're all infiltrated and overrun by the cartels. That is just the most dumbest thing ever, okay? Another thing about that particular subject... Have cartels and, and drug dealers and pimps, have they made their way into Indian reservations? They have, actually. There are several domestic disputes that have taken place in the domesticated uh, crisis uh, where, where single moms or, or, you know, or moms or whatever that have, uh, that have had to run to shelters because of their abusive husbands that turned out to be Latino gang members. You know, they're promised the world and all this good stuff. And uh, they turned out to be, you know, victims of abuse. And, uh, and worst, worst of all, you know, uh, their gang members moved in and used reservation soil to, you know, grow marijuana crops or whatever crops, if not make meth or whatever. Here's the thing, though. So is Christy Noem wrong that there's, there's gangs in, on reservation? No. The part where she's wrong with the cartels taking over the place is the obvious signs that they keep getting busted, then indigenous native women keep ratting them out, and they keep getting, uh, um, having to start all over again. Uh, the cartels having to start all over again. That's what I meant to say. I do apologize. I don't have any of this scripted like I normally do. Okay, this is where she's incredibly wrong. And to be, to, to point out a very ugly reality, if the cartels had taken over Sioux reservations out of her state, all nine of them, mind you, she would have been, her ass would have been peddled a long time ago, okay? They'd have put a price tag on her ass until they until they felt there was no more value of her, and she'd be you know chopped up and thrown away, literally chopped up into pieces and thrown away. Especially if she was a leader, especially seeing as how she's a governor, a political leader, they'd make soup out of her. It's called caldo. It's, it's a soup, 
a vegetable soup or a vegetable and meat soup, depending on it. There's like about six to nine uh, different variations of caldo. The gang term, the cartel term, is where they put you in a in a 50 gallon barrel and bake you in there, and they, they use you know two by fours or whatever to keep you in that barrel while you uh, while you cook while you're fried, okay? Like why well, turned into soup. Christy Nome, with her messed up allegations and accusations, you know, is proven so wrong by her own accusations, okay? She'd be dead by now if that was the case. All nine reservations? Oh my God, yeah. All nine reservations. They, she would have already been, she would have already been turned into soup, okay? Okay. A price tag would have been put. She would have been abducted. She, a price tag would have been put on her ass. You know? It, and it would have been done in the most horrific fashion. You know, and the simple fact that she's got all these publications of her being around here in Texas, around the mili military. You know, and, and don't get me wrong, I get it. It's a publicity stunt where she's picking up a fence one portion of offense and then you know patting herself on the back getting trying to get a hug out of that that soldier that's trying to brush her off and as they walk away she's trying to get this thing like yeah we did it and all this other crap kind of appearance and that's also tanking you know the part where she's doing a a, a post hole hammer where she's hammering down a post for for a fence line and then she stops and she's already reaching for somebody to shake her hand and congratulate her. You know, if cartels were actually, if cartels were actually in her state, jacking up everything, you know, this whole bizwax where she's trying to look like she's securing our nation here in Texas, is just downright dumb. It's also counterproductive. It's counteractive. And it just doesn't make any sense. You know, it, it, it doesn't make any sense of what she's saying. What makes more sense is how we, all of us, you and I, don't believe her. It, it, it makes more sense to disbelieve this person because of the bullcrap that she's displaying. Okay? She's saying everything's horrible, everything's horrible. She presents zero evidence. She says, I'm securing the nation. I'm securing the nation. She posed for some photographs, sure. She posed for a couple of uh, uh, publicity stunts with military people working very hard and then trying to, you know, okay, yeah, 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 good, you know, congratulations, you did this. And that's fine. The file footage shows it that nobody's really congratulating, nobody's giving a nobody's really uh, grateful that she's there. Okay? Nobody gives a rat's ass about her down here any more than they do up there. In her own state. Okay? <laughs> it's just pathetic. And it's dumb. Now, for those of you who can't figure it out yet, or, or you know, but you just don't want to hear it, until, you have to have somebody else say it. The reason why she's doing all of this is for the money. Plain and simple. If anybody and everybody that's watched my show, you know full well that it's all about the money. Belief is the tool. It's all about the money. Belief is the tool. If you believe her on all these wild accusations, then she's going to be demanding uh, uh, funding. And anybody and everybody that sees a politician getting funded wants to know where that politician stands now we already know over in west dakota in western part of her her state where standing rock is where the oil and fuel pipeline was forced upon we already know she's got her hands in the oil and fuel industry okay the uh the, the obviously cattle is another thing or at least passage Cattle passing through is another thing. So that's the livestock industry. 
that she can bank on. Uh, any kind of farming. Uh, I think they could, there's even room for corn fields over there. I'm not sure. Corn is a big industry. Okay. Farming industry. For, corn is a real profitable uh, product. All in all, it's basically she selling her state to corporations and businesses and industries that have no business being there because it's all reservation territory. Okay? It's, it's a huge industry and all this good stuff. And to top it all off, it's limited. It's limited to those in those industries on soils that are here for, you know, American jobs. Now, if you're an indigenous or native and you've got your own reservations, you know, what do you expect? You're not going to be able to get out in that unless you move out of that reservation in order to be an employee. That's a common complaint amongst those uh, on the reservations. Sorry. Sorry. Had to use that ice to um, add some... It's very dusty out here right now. So yeah, all in all, it's all about the money. Belief is the tool. There's a lot of money. And then to top it all off, it's only money for her and her people. There, it, there's really not much benefit. And we've all seen this so far from Trump to uh, the Bushes. Okay. And even sometimes, even sometimes like during the Obama administration, you know, and the Clintons concerning the, uh, the big pharma. Okay. That, that led to the opioid crisis. Okay. But fast forward all the way to here where there isn't a Clinton, an Obama, a, a Bush, or even a Nixon <laughs> anywhere in South Dakota. And all there are are industries ready to tear up the land. Okay. Especially because it's not really American soil. It's native reservation. Huge difference. Huge opportunity to permit themselves to do this. We all know this. Okay. We all know how greed works. And we all know that big companies and corporations in whatever industry, if given permission, will take total advantage of that. Okay. And again, I normally don't really care about this person. It's just that the BS that's going on with all these wild accusations has even got this, this guy here. I'm a, I'm a delivery guy. You know, I do deliveries for a living. You know, a water heater or a water tank, uh, groceries, uh, tires to a dealership. You know, I do that. I, I do that for a living. I drive all over Texas. And I see what's going on and what's not going on firsthand as I travel from city to city, you know, and then back here to my home city in San Antonio. And, um, you know, I, I, I nor again, I normally don't pay attention to, but there's a lot of lies and a lot of exaggeration, a lot of accusations and all this other crap going on. And it's and worst the worst thing about this is it's going on by our political leaders. OK. So th this whole bizwax um, that there's cartels in our Indian reservations, there's a couple of uh, criminals, sure. There's a couple of criminals, but they get busted all the time as sure as the, their victims are ratting them out, okay? And then to top it all off, you know, to say that it's overwhelming all of the reservations, that's total bullcrap, especially in South Dakota where the nine reservations... The nine reservations that make up that state, if they were really overwhelmed by cartel, if they were really run by cartels, Christine Nome, the uh, the governor of that state, would be would be their puppet. Okay, she wouldn't be ratting them out. She'd be their puppet, and she would actually be, you know, she would have been chopped into little pieces by now. There would have been a price tag on her ass. They would have hooked her up to the same drugs that they hooked up the 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 spouse the the people that they victimized. 
the women that they victimized, they would have, you know, coked her up by now. They would have had her uh, peddling her ass, you know, by this time. If that was anywhere near true, that cartels was overrunning her state, okay? She'd be nothing but a bitch, a little hoe on the side by this time, if any of that was true. She wouldn't be doing those poses down here in Texas along the border, you know? And the same thing goes with that Gonzalez guy here in Texas that's at the at the border right now. He's posting these posts out on, on, on mainstream media that he's taking on the cartels. You know, he could say that now that there's barricades in the water, you know, now that there's reinforced walls. And now that all the cartels have to redirect their trafficking to a different county. He talks a lot of crap, okay? But uh, I can tell you right here and now, there is no word of this guy doing anything to stop the cartels, okay? All of the busts are being done in El Paso. All of the busts are being done in Del Rio. All of the busts are being done here in San Antonio, Texas, okay? Nowhere near where Gonzalez uh, works and all this other crap. That's a total BS lie. Same thing with this gnome person, Governor Nome from South Dakota. The poses that she does down here and then goes back over there to her state and says, I'm protecting you, is total bullcrap. And you can even see it in the films that she's dispersing out, where she's do, you know doing the post hammer um, and, and expecting somebody to say congratulations where she's picked up one piece of a fence and is already patting everybody else on the back and, you know, expecting expecting that same kind of congratulations, you know, you're, you're a good patriot kind of feedback. And instead, everybody that helped her picked up this fence turned around and walked away. And, oh, yeah, yeah, whatever. And that's on film, you know. And she's trying to use that as publicity to, to make it seem like she's securing the nation. <laughs> It is just ridiculous. It's just downright stupid. Okay? She's got no clue as to what it's like to actually take on a, um, a criminal organization, let alone a cartel. Okay? A cartel would have put her ass up for sale a long time ago. You know? If she had anything to dealings with the cartel, she would have had... She would have already been coked up. She would have already been gang-banged. And she wouldn't be out on at a podium saying, hello, you know, I'm going to save you. She'd be on the street corner, you know, peddling her ass. Plain and simple. She'd be on a street corner peddling her ass. So, yeah, again, I do apologize, but I, I just have to let this out because it's, it's just so dumb. You know, it's just so dumb. And all the media coverage on her as to how she keeps talking. And like, how can you say this? How can you say this? And all this other crap. Like, why are you even paying attention to her is what I'm thinking. Because it's just so stupid. It's so, it's bull crap, you know? And, and it's like, everybody just forgets to review criminal history. Everybody just forgets to review swindling politicians. They just forget. And, and it's over and over and over with this person. And, and and there and the demassery of that she's you know that she's all about but yeah that's that's the thing i just had to let that out um i hope you all are doing well out there uh, i hope you keep on taking care of each other it's the weekend we're all uh, trying to make ourselves adaptable to the heat that's coming on at least down here in san antonio a lot of you are dealing with a lot of storms and a lot of damage that has been happening by those storms. So I noticed that it's a lot of calming down. There's a couple of shootings. There's a couple of fights. There's a couple of crimes. Um, but stuff like these natural disasters is really putting everything on hold. It's putting crime on hold for right now. Uh, and all that's left right now is like, Pedal Crime, I saw an interview where these people, uh, these people that lived along a, um, a, a ravine, you know, thieves were jumping over their fences and tossing over valued uh, lawn decor over the fences. And somebody on the other side was loading up the truck. And I thought that was kind of creative, but silly nevertheless. You know, and so right now these wacky crimes are taking place, at least here in Texas. 
Um, but everybody, you know, let's all let's all be prepared and let's all get ready for the more outrageous, the more life threatening. Uh, because you know, somewhere down the line, it's going to happen. Somebody is going to want to shoot up a place, an event, and somebody's just, somebody and uh, an event is going to be taking place, and somebody's going to be taking, uh, getting out of control, taking it too far. Um, and then the church people and all these people with morals, they're going to be doing their rallies also, and it's all going to be a bunch of uh, preached hatred. That's going to be poisoning somebody's mind. And here we go again with another douchebag to society. Uh, shooting a place. Shooting up a place. Killing somebody. Killing a loved one. In the name of hatred towards something like migrants. You know. Or, or killing somebody in the name of um, hating Biden for not buying blood oil from Russia. And I say blood oil because, again, it's not Russian oil. It's stolen Ukrainian oil. It's stolen Crimea oil. It was stolen Kosovo oil. It was stolen Bosnian oil. It was never Russian oil. It was blood oil. Okay? Somebody's going to kill their kid or nephew or whatever over this crap without even paying attention to the facts. You know? Right now, while we're all adapting to the heat and trying to get ready for some kind of enjoying the weekend... Uh, and I hope you all have a good weekend, by the way. It's Friday by the time of this recording. Um, I, I, I hope that, you know, somebody's, you know, while we're trying to, to acclimate in, into this um, season, you know, there's going to be some douchebag that's going to mess everything up. Be prepared. Be prepared. A mass area. Somebody's going to shoot a gun. You know, maybe. It doesn't hurt to look for places to hide, to duck and hide. Okay. It's not going to hurt just to keep that in, in, in mind, you know, because once the shooting starts and you got your girl, or you got your wife or you got your kids, you're going to need to find a place to hide. And the reason for that is because usually gunmen don't shoot at people that they don't see. They usually shoot at people that they can. OK, it, it's not it's not etched in stone, but we all know it's a good rule of thumb. So. Keep that that rule of thumb and every other rule of thumb in your mind, in the back of your mind, and, and you know, and ready, and all this good stuff. Okay, this is what it's like in this day and age. It's no different than looking over your shoulder to see if anybody is creeping up behind you, trying to pickpocket you, or trying to do something naughty with you. Okay, and even still, that's a that's a certain point of view for some. <laughs> this person wants to get naughty with me. Oh my goodness. You know, but nevertheless, this is the way it is these days. You just got to be a little bit more cautious and you got to not let uh, uh, paranoia sit in and all this good stuff. It's good to think about these different probabilities. Just don't let it get you. Okay. And that's how we keep on moving on and all this good stuff. Speaking of moving on, we're coming up to the 25 minute. I'm going to say have a good one. Have a great and safe weekend. Take care of yourself. I love you. Uh, and I hope everybody out there just, you know, be cool, you know. Um, but, yeah, that's the sole reason for, for talking about this politician uh, right now. It's just so dumb. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll catch y'all later. This is Chris with Chris's Comments signing out.